Hey guys, Crystal coming on, and I'm coming on for, um, well, to show you a few project shares that I've been working on. A couple of them I've made over the past couple of days. I finished one today. Well, in fact, I actually finished two today, and one I actually had completed before I started the renovation of my craft room, but I just haven't had an opportunity to show you that, and it's a little album that I created using... Graphic 45's Life's a Bowl of Cherries paper pad. So I'll get to that at the end because that's going to take a little bit longer to go through and show you. So I'm going to start out with the cards that I made. And I'm going to show you what I used to make the cards. Okay, for these cards I used this little snail. It's so adorable. And I don't know if you guys remember, but I think it's been at least two or three years ago. Could have been longer than that. Um... I entered a challenge hosted by Craft Eccentricity. She was having an ATC challenge on her channel, and the prize was, it was either one pound, two pound, or three pounds of dyes. You know, she gets a ton of dyes from these companies um, that she is a design team member for. And anyway, um, I was one of the lucky winners of that challenge, and I won a whole ton of dyes from her. And one of those dies, when I was cleaning out my craft room, I still had a bag. Some of those dies that I received from her, I couldn't tell you what they were. I, I couldn't figure it out, you know, because they were just random dies. I'm so thankful for them, don't get me wrong. But some of them, I just didn't know what they were. And I came across this one among the ones that I couldn't tell what they were. And I knew that I loved this little snail, and I could not believe I had not used it yet. So that's what I used in my cards today. I used the little snail that I won from Craft Eccentricity. Thank you, Sharon. And I used these uh, stitched frames here. And I also used my dotted and stitched frames in this set. I don't, don't ask me where I got these. I don't know. Probably um, surprise creation for those. I don't know. Amazon... Alley, who knows? I don't know. Could be scrapbook.com. I, I need to keep up with that better so I can tell you guys, but I don't. Sorry. All right, for the first card, this is for my sister whose birthday is Tuesday. Here is her card. It's your birthday. Let's celebrate. Isn't that snail stinking hilarious? I love it. And I used a little flat back. Um, Oh gosh, I, I don't I do not know what you call these things. But anyway, you know what I'm talking about. Those. I use those for the eyes and I just absolutely love them. And I just printed the um sentiment on my computer and made sure that I left enough room to put the snail in the center. And then I used this cute little paper from I think it's lawn phone or one of those paper pads, I'm not sure. But isn't it adorable? I absolutely love it. I haven't filled out the inside yet. And then there's my stamp on the back. I did finish this one. The next card, I didn't put my stamp on the back. And just created a basic envelope. And then the next one, using that snail. Isn't that cute? A little slimline die. You snailed it. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. I just absolutely love that little snail. I think he's so funny. Anyway, like I said, there's nothing on the inside, and I didn't put anything on the back of this one, so that's that's that. Okay, moving on to my next project. As I told you guys in my last video, I went to the beach during my for my birthday with my spiritual mother. So I wanted to make something for her to commemorate our beach trip. So I made her a little lantern. And you guys have seen me make those lanterns before. Um, I use the tutorial by Mixed Up Craft, Sam, and, um, but she, her tutorial shows you the large one, and I tweaked her measurements to make a medium size lantern. I, I didn't want to make one so huge, so anyway, this is what I, I used for that, and this is a stamp set by May May Made It. I love her stamp sets, especially her scripture club. I don't get the scripture club. I, but once in a while, when I come across one of her stamp sets that I absolutely love, I'll just go buy it. So anyway, 
I used this stamp here. Mightier than the waves of the sea is his love for you. Psalm 93, 4. That's what I used. And I also used Scrap Diva Designs. Uh, I used this die out of that. And I also used some of this computer graphics paper that I bought at Hobby Lobby. It's printable, transparent, plastic sheets. And I printed um, my spiritual mother's picture on one of these clear sheets and then I backed it with vellum uh, for the lantern and I also um, use this little bell that you put up in the top of the building or whatever the, in this case my lantern this is a crafter's companion set I don't know where I got this someone could have gifted it to me or I, it must have been a tremendous sale if I bought it because I don't have the die to actually make this. It's just the windows and the roof lining. You know, that's all that came with it. So I went on Crafter's Companion website and tried to find the die for this so I could buy it. They don't make a die for it. They All they do is give you a PDF of a like a, a traced outline of how to cut it out. And I'm like, I ain't doing all that. I'll figure it out one day myself. But anyway... I thought it was really annoying, though. I mean, you should make a die to make the actual church building. I mean, come on. You're going to sell this stuff and not have the die to do it? Anyway, that's my rant for today. But I use this. So let me show you. I'm going to have to pause the video, bring the camera down, and, um, yeah, I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. And here is the lantern. Let me back up a little bit so you can see the whole thing. See it? Isn't it cute? It's basic. I didn't want to go all out and decorate it and all that. I just wanted her picture and the sentiments to do the work. So let me show you. It's my spiritual mother on the beach. We went to Holden Beach. Um, that is in North Carolina. Um and okay like i said i printed it on the clear sheet then i backed it with the vellum and then here's where i cut out the little church bell Isn't that cute and then on i made a vellum handle and let me turn it so you can see the bell a little bit better there and then here i i stamped on vellum using my black stays on ink that sentiment from May May stamp set. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness, I love that. Anyway, um, and then there, I cut out a little hole in the back, and this is just so you can stick your light in there. And then on the other side, it's the same scripture, mightier than the waves of the sea is his love for you, which he does love you. He loves me too. Love it. So anyway, I hope she likes it. It's very basic, very simple, but I think it'll be cute sitting on her table with the light in it, don't you? I'm not going to put the light in it now, but anyway, uh, I have one sitting here. Hold on. Yeah, just one of those. Little candle stick inside. All right, now I'm going to try to pause this, put my phone back up so that I can show you the album that I made. So, oh, let's hope this works. Hold on. Okay, I am back. I hope it's running. I don't know. I can't tell. Anyway, um, for this album, I followed a tutorial from Scrap Queen. She made this new design uh, on a mini album, and I just wanted to try it. So that's the only reason I made this. I don't have anybody in mind for it. I have no one to give it to. I don't know. I just wanted to play, and that's what I did. And I also had received, I had bought these suspenders from KS Craft. They are so stinking adorable. Uh, it makes a little suspender set, and there's more dies on the back. And um, I used this in the album. You'll see it. And I also bought this vintage payphone. I, I want to say it was KS Craft, too. I, I don't know. Yep, it is. It's KS Craft. So I made one of those that's inside of this album, too. So I want to make sure that I showed you those dies. They're so cute. All right, here is my front. Like I said, I used Graphic 45 um, 
Life's a Bowl of Cherries. That's the paper pad that I used. Isn't that cute? Simple, but cute. There is the spine. Let me show you the whole thing. Yep. I haven't put anything on the back. Don't care about the back. And then her design was instead of pages and hinges, it's a box. You see that? You create a box which has little separator sections and then you make a little booklet and then you pull it out. I mean, it just it's just the neatest design. I, I like it. I wish I would have made a cover that was the lay flat method because, look, I mean, that's as far as the book will open like that. And I did not put a closure on it. I forgot to, but I don't need it because, it, I mean, it stays shut. You know what I'm saying? But it will not open all the way down to the table. It, it's just, it's there. But anyway, so there's there's my box. See, it's the same on both sides. There's my box. So I'm going to pull out each one of these little booklets and show them to you. And we'll get into it. So see, that that's what it looks like when you don't have anything inside. Just like that. I just thought it was a very clever design. And I like this. I really like it. It takes the pressure off from the hinges, you know. Hinges can be annoying and really, you know, frustrating. This wasn't. This was this was pretty fun. It was a fun challenge, so that's why I did it. All right, let's get into the first one. This one is just a basic page using that. I used one of the larger cut-aparts. They have beautiful paper. I just love the paper. And then on this, I made a, I created a pocket. It says, have a cherry on top kind of day. Then I made a little booklet. Hoping I've got it in camera. Then I made a little booklet here and used a couple of... No, I didn't. That's part of the design. I thought I had cut those out. No, I didn't. It's just one of the little cut-aparts. And then uh, you can house a little 3 by 4 photo. Isn't that cute? So cute. Anyway... So there's that. And then I have this pocket die that I used to cut out these little pockets. So that's what I did on this page. And then this flips up. And then I, I've got this die in my stash that's a soda bottle. And I used one of the little ephemera pieces that says cherry soda on it. Made a little cherry soda bottle. And they're cute. And it's just decorative. A lot of this is just decorative. I was just playing and having fun. Honestly, it don't really serve a purpose. There's really no purpose for this album. I mean, you can throw a couple pictures in here if you want to, but I just wanted to play that day. Well, I'm going to say that day. It took me a couple weeks. And there's that vintage phone. I say vintage. I remember pay phones. I used pay phones. Using um, vintage to describe a payphone is just foreign to me. Anyway, isn't it cute? So stinking adorable. I love it. I love the phone. So cute. And it's just a little photo booklet or whatever booklet. You know, like I said, this book really don't have a purpose. Just wanted to craft and use that paper because I had that collection for a while. So there's that. And then... I just framed this out, and then I printed on my computer, pretty please, and then I cut out a cherry and put a cherry on top. Get it? Pretty please with the cherry on top? <laughs> ah, crack me up anyway. That's why I did that. And then my next little booklet, this, was, this is one of my favorite ones, just because the paper is so gorgeous. It's beautiful. I mean, look at the little embellishments. I mean, just so cute. Look at that paper. I love the colors. Very Christmassy, but it's not Christmas paper by no means. This is one of my favorite prints in the whole album. I, I just think that paper is gorgeous. Let me make sure you can see the whole thing. There you go. And then I just made a little booklet. And there's a little pocket here. And then uh, just a little booklet. Nothing inside. And that goes inside the pocket. 
But isn't that cute? I just absolutely love this paper. It's so, so pretty. So pretty. All right, and then on the back, it is plain because I didn't want no bulk in the center because this one has some bulk in it. And I created this little flap. Again, I used one of those little cut-aparts or little ephemera pieces, whatever you want to call it. And this is magnetic. And then you open this up, and there's that suspenders. You know what? I'm missing... I forgot to show y'all something. I'll have to go back. I must have missed a flip or something. Yep, I sure did in that one. I'll, I'll go back and show you uh, in just a second. But I created those little suspenders. Aren't they cute? And I even cut out tiny little cherries <laughs> as the buttons. Aren't they cute? So stinking adorable. Um, Craft Eccentricity had created these overalls on her channel one day. And I just fell in love. I had to go order them. I loved it. And then I made this, it's, it's a pocket, and then you just pull that out. I like you cherry much. And, of course, you could put a picture on the back or, you know, whatever you want to do with that. Like I said, I just created this for the fun of it. Just for the fun of it. And then this folds down, and there is another, um, you got plenty of places to put a picture or recipe or whatever you want to make of it you know what i'm saying i just love the suspenders i just wanted to make them and that's what i did and then that's the back of that and i did forget to show you uh one of the pages that i created in this album i showed you the flip up with the pocket and that but i forgot to open it up and show you this so this there was a sheet of paper in the Graphic 45 pack that was nothing but this design all the way across the sheet. So I fussy cut and, um, these strips out and then put them on here like this. And these are magnetic and you just open them up and there's some more of that beautiful paper. And it's just a mirror image just like that. So you can got a place to put photographs or whatever you want to do. But isn't it cute? Such cute paper. So pretty. Anyway, that is all. That is my album and my lantern and my cards. I have been having fun in here crafting. And you know my cat. My cat has not. Let me let me show you. Hold on. Let me see if I can show y'all. Hold on. Okay. See that pillow over there? Nothing on it. Remember why I bought the pillow, right? Yeah, for her. She loves my rug. Anyway, I love it too. I just thought I would share with you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we will talk later. Bye.